So this is a very hard item to get. This, um, yeah, this is an absolute gem that I scored online. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting unboxing. Um, as you can see by the title, this is actually something I scored from the Hermes online store. So before we get into the unboxing, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel and you do love luxury videos and handbags and fashion, then I would love if you would hit that subscribe button below and also the bell so you could be notified when I upload new videos, which is twice a week on a Wednesday and the weekend US time. So yes, I scored this online on the Hermes Australian website. So when you do order from the online store, you will get your items typically in like a satchel and then they'll be inside this white box. And then it's got the Hermes flagship store just on the front there, or not the front, the inside of the box I should say. You also get your receipt. So yeah, let's go right ahead and open this up because I am super eager to see this item and hopefully I haven't been like showing you on the side but anyways okay so this is a very hard item to get this um, yeah this is an absolute gem that I scored online um, at around about I think it was around about 6 no maybe 5 p.m. in the afternoon um, uh, Australian Eastern, Stan Eastern Standard Time on the website let's just go right ahead and open it up because I am so eager to see if this bag is okay I've given it away haven't I it's a bag yep it's a bag <laughs> it's a bag no is it is it a bag actually is is it a bag I may stand corrected am I unboxing it the right way let me just take a sneak peek uh-huh I am oh wow okay all right here it is my big reveal from the Hermes online store a very hard to get item uh, not a quota bag, but this is a hard to get item and even getting it from the store You generally need a relationship with your sales associate some kind of spending history. It's not just a case of going on a wait list and get one Here it is Look at that color Wowza And you're probably thinking what that's not a hard to get item. That's a Kelly wallet This isn't just any Kelly wallet. Now, if you're familiar with Hermes, you would know that they released, I think it came um, spring, summer 2020. I think this this first came out, this type of um, bag slash SLG. And it's the Kelly Walk. This is the Kelly Walk. So, you know what, from the exterior, you look at it and um, you think that's just a wallet. Yeah, this is a wallet. It's got straps and that is amazing. Um, the color is also in Vert Cricket. So that is also spring summer 2020 color. I love this color. I love this color and the color Blue Broom from spring summer 2020 because I love that kind of pastel color. Anything that's got a lot of white saturation in it, that white base that brings that beautiful pastel color. I love, love, love it. Um, this is also in Epsom leather. I actually do quite like Epsom leather this year for the spring summer 2020 pastel colors for Blue Broom and Vert Cricket. I really like it in Epsom. I feel like it's giving it more of that white pastel base. And um, that's also probably because I noticed that with Epsom, with lighter colors, like, you know, this sort of color in the Blue Broom, they always have like a white base underneath. And um, I know that for a fact because once I had an Epsom Kelly 25 in Rose Japur and I scratched it and it, it exposed white dots underneath. So I feel that's why this color looks really nice. Um, obviously, yeah, I, that does make me a bit paranoid that I could potentially scratch this again, but this is a very small item. It is obviously like an SLG, it's a bag. Uh, a wok is, you know, an SLG, but it's kind of a bag as well. Um, so I feel as though I should be okay. And look at that, wow. I, I, I completely just forgot about telling you guys about this. This is actually the Verso uh, wallet. So it has two colors, the Vert Cricket on the outside, and then you've got the Blue Broom on the inside. So wow, look at that. How beautiful is that blue broom? Oh my god, I want a bag in this color. Like, I really want a bag in this color. Yeah, probably end up having to go resale market, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't even seen anyone from the Sydney store get any of these spring summer colors in Birkins or Kelly's or even the Constance. I haven't seen a Vert Cricket or a blue broom of those elusive bags from the Sydney store. So maybe we haven't even got stock yet. Who knows, but I would love this color in a bag. Seriously, Constance 18 even, I'd be happy. Kelly 25, Kelly 28. Um, I don't think that they did this in the Birkin. I think they've only done it like um, 
I know they did it in a mini bolide actually. So yeah, I'd be happy even with a mini bolide in this color because it is beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful baby blue. Um, now, inside it looks just like a wallet, but it's got those card slots here. So those are card slots. So essentially it's a, a wok, you know, like the Chanel wok zipper compartment so you can put coins or whatever i don't carry coins anyway um and then they've got that classic uh lock that cadena cadena however you say it if that's how you say it i'm not sure if it's focusing in come on stop focusing on my face not sure if that's focusing in but that's the um lock cadena that you would see like obviously on the birkins and kelly's now inside Inside here is obviously the strap, so it comes in its own little dust bag. And, okay, so, not adjustable, so I'm going to have to see if this is the right size for me. And um, it's the kind of mechanism where you kind of push, you got to push it on, sort of, sort of like, obviously, the... Um, like the Chanel boy bag, it's got that kind of mechanism to adjust it, you've got to push the buttons. Um, into the holes sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so All right, so I've just fed them through and then I've got to push it on here Now You don't want to be doing this often. I feel like you don't want to be taking this strap off because um I mean, obviously, why would you? Because otherwise you would have a wallet and you may as well just buy a wallet because a wallet is cheaper. This was 6075 Australian dollars. Um, I don't think there's really much else I can sort of show you on the inside. It, it, it's basic, but that's fine because it's got card um, slots. So I don't necessarily need to take my wallet, like my card holder. I don't have a wallet. I have a card holder. All right, let's close it up. Now, as to whether I would close it up fully all the time I don't know I feel like that could be pretty cumbersome but um, you could just sort of have it like otherwise I'll be flapping around like that though that kind of looks a bit funny uh, let's see if you can sort of close it up without you know what I mean like you know when you have the Kelly bag you have the sangles sort of like that let's see yeah you can do that but then like the sangles are just hidden underneath they kind of pop through a bit they probably will once you fill up the contents and then they'll sort of start popping out underneath. Wow. This actually looks like it's a good leg. So I'm gonna try it on. Okay, so that's it on me. Um, it's kind of sitting like, here's like where my leggings sort of are. So it's at a really good height for me. I quite like it. I'm just gonna look in the mirror as well. Yeah, this is actually really good height for me. So I can easily open it and get my stuff. It is not too long and that's usually the problem that I have with crossbody bags that always make the straps too long so this is really good for short people for reference I am 156 centimeters so that makes me like just like pretty much five foot two only just so that's it just on the shoulder um, that still is okay that's still an okay length for me um, but I kind of preferred it at that crossbody height because it sits up here especially because it's a wallet it's so small the other thing that I noticed is that this did not come with a dust bag. So the strap comes with a dust bag, but not the actual bag itself, which is quite like quite strange, I guess, because I'm not going to be taking off my strap to put it back in here. Purely because A, I'd be worried that I might, you know, scratch it fiddling around with pushing it down. Um, it wasn't exactly the easiest strap to attach. I feel like it'd be quite cumbersome taking it on and off. And also I'd be worried about stretching out these holes too much. And then that could make the strap not as secure anymore. So yeah, it would have been nice if it actually came with a dust bag for the wallet. But whatever, that's okay. No biggie. Um, now the hardware, as you can see, is actually gold hardware. Um, nothing at the back. So standard at the back was a perfect length for me. Now let's just see what fits in the bag. Obviously this is not going to be a full review. We can't do a review on an item that I haven't really used. This is more so a first impressions. So far, so good, like really good. Be primarily because the length of it is absolutely amazing for me and being a shorty, that's always something that I struggle with. So I've just popped the phone at the back there. This seems like it's actually gonna fit a fairly good amount. Um, I actually heard that this actually fits more than the Mini Kelly, so that's interesting. Um, now, this is where it might get a bit troublesome, is my key pouch. It's quite fat. 
I don't know how this is going to go, especially because I'm putting my phone inside. Um, look, let's see. Now, the cards, obviously, I'm not going to even bother with putting my card holder in because it's got the slots. So just give me a moment. I'm going to take some of the cards out that I would need. Now, I've just doubled up on the cards. So I've put two, 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 and two. That's all the cards that I really sort of need to carry. Um, actually, this one doesn't have a two. That's a single one. That's just my debit card. That's pretty much the only card I would really be taking in and out. The other ones are just like if I need them, just in case. Now, I feel like it's going to, yeah, eh, I don't know. Like, it seems too fat with the um, keys in there, unfortunately. So... I'm going to try anyway. No, I would be putting way too much strain on the sangle. So by the looks of it, if you have keys, you're going to have to just take them out. Which is kind of, I'm not going to lie, is kind of a little bit annoying because um, I did have a Gucci Super Mini that I unboxed on this channel and I decided to return because of that. But as you guys know, Hermes has a very special place in my heart. Like, I just love their bags. So... I am more inclined to make this work than what I was the Super Mini. However, with the Super Mini, I said that I actually felt like I would just be better. Oops, there goes my keys. I'd be better off to just buy the slightly bigger size, like the Mini Gucci Marmot, not the Super Mini. Um, even though there's like probably a decent price difference, at least then it would just fit everything that I needed and it could be more like grab and go. But yeah, like I said, I have a special place in my heart for Hermes. So if I can make it work, I will just try to make this work. Um, I'm going to start by swapping around my phone to the front. And I'm just going to start chucking in my keys. So I've got a really big fat key fob. This is from my, uh, this is for my Kia Stinger. So it's quite a big key fob. And then I've got my keys. Now, this actually worries me a bit, just chucking in keys like that. I feel like a bit uh, about it. Obviously, there's no fitting hand sanitizer in here. I don't feel like if, unless you don't need to carry keys at all and you have a chaperone all the time, um, to me, there's, uh, there's no chance you can fit hand sanitizer in here. Maybe if it's a super flat hand sanitizer, but by the looks of it, no. So that's kind of a little bit... Uh, like you'd want to make sure you always have hand sanitizer with you. However, I always have hand sanitizer in my car. Um, and there is always hand sanitizer around at the shops as well. So there's definitely a plentiful supply of hand sanitizer around. But I just, yeah, that kind of puts me like in a bit, eh, and it's a little bit annoying. But like I said, again, it is Hermes. I would like to try and just make this work for me. Purely because, look at that color, like blue broom, vert cricket. These are the colors that I really wanted from spring, summer 2020. Let's close it up and see how it goes like this. Oh, look, my keys are flying out. Oh my gosh, yeah. Maybe I'm going to have to put it inside the zip here. You know that zip compartment? If this is not a first impressions, I don't know what it is, seriously. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just fiddling things around everywhere trying to get all this placement right. This key fob is huge. All right, okay. I can't believe that they say that this bag actually fits more than Mini Kelly. And I've wanted a Mini Kelly for a while, so that's kind of a bit worrying. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull these out. Look. Ugh. Oh, okay, hang on. I'm gonna put this on me because I wanna be in a situation where I'm actually using the bag. And um, let's just try and close it up. Okay. Like usual with the Kelly, you have to kind of push it in. If you're like familiar with it, you kind of have to lift it up just to close it. And oh my gosh, this is such a tight close. This is really a first impressions. Okay, it closed. It closed. I don't think that you should leave the sangles underneath um, because... I've spoken about this in my videos before, but if you actually use the sangles on the lock, it helps to alleviate some of the pressure on the lock. If you just have this sitting over the top of the lock, it's putting a bearing a lot of weight on it. But if you actually put the sangles, it really helps with that weight sort of distribution. Um, so it is actually better if you can to put the sangles over the top. Um, and I'd say definitely for something like this, because it is such a small compact item, 
um, yeah, it, it's going to be putting strain on that. That flap is going to be putting strain on the lock. So trying to alleviate the pressure a bit probably would be quite helpful to make sure that when you do have it sort of like this capacity that you're not damaging the lock in any way. There isn't much else I can really say because this is a first impressions. I really need to use the bag and see how it goes, if it's going to work for me. Honestly, it is a little bit cumbersome, not going to lie. Um, yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that it was in this color that I really wanted, um, I probably would not have bothered to buy it. Um, if it was, I can say, a color like black, etoupe, I wouldn't have bothered to buy it purely because I have an etoupe. Birkin, I have a Rose Azalee, Constance, you know, so I have bags that are already bigger and much more user friendly. This is primarily a purchase for the color. If I was able to perhaps get a Pickerton 18 in this color, I would then choose more than likely, probably, I'm not sure I really need to use the bag, um, I would probably choose to perhaps let this go. But as we know with Hermes, they are actually great investments. They tend to hold their value and especially something like this, which is actually a bag, a Kelly Wok. Um, they are selling on the resale market like for a profit, no doubt about it. I don't intend to be selling, reselling this. I want to use it. I want to give it a go. Um, but if in the chance that it doesn't actually work out for me, I'm sure that I can get my money back. Um, I'm quite confident on that, especially being in a beautiful color like Vert Cricket. Who knows when this color will come back around. I've just got my tape measure and I'm going to do the strap measurement. So I'm going to measure from the point of where the strap actually um, starts, like pretty much where it hits at the top of that wallet there. Because I know for sure someone is going to ask me for the strap measurement. So at least it is done. Alright, the strap measurement is 109 centimeters. So that's good. I actually know that if it was 113 centimeters, that is a bit too long for me. I think that was the strap measurement of the Evelyn. But you know what? In the actual Evelyn, because it's that vertical, like north south sort of style, um, even though that the strap measurement of an Evelyn is 113 centimeters, it's got extra points on the side, like where it hooks onto, which gives even more depth to the strap, to the strap. So it ends up being like around about 118 centimeters, which is too long for me. Whereas this is a clear 109 centimeters. I've measured it exactly from where the strap hits in that little um, buckle right there. But yeah, that, that is it. That is all I can really sort of say about this bag. Obviously, some people are going to probably comment going, look, you know, if you know, if you don't like it, maybe you should return it, that sort of thing. And you know what? In most circumstances, I would totally say, look, if you don't like the bag, it's too much money to not be 100% happy with it. Just send it back. But this is Hermes that we're talking about. This is the kind of items that are hard to come by. When it comes to Hermes and the hard to come by items, sometimes it's better to just give it a go. And if it doesn't work out, you can always sell it. And you are more than likely going to get your money back, especially on something like this. They are not easy to get. Like I said, on the... Hermes website, they are very, very hard to come by, especially in Australia. This, um, I've seen them listed maybe a couple times, but think of the population and how many people that actually love Hermes in Australia. This is online store for all of Australia, not just New South Wales, not just Sydney. So there are a lot of people that are wanting to buy this. So being able to score a hard to get item online is fantastic. Otherwise, you know, if you're wanting this, you need some kind of relationship with the boutique. It's not a quota bag, but you at least need to have a relationship with the sales associate. Um, you at least need to have some kind of spending history. So there is some elements to it that make it quite difficult. And if there are other people asking for it that have been shopping at the boutique for longer, have spent more and that sort of thing, they are more likely to get the bag than you, truth be told. So I am going to keep this bag. Um, I'm going to see how it goes. Hopefully it will work out for me because I do love the color, but... I cannot say at this stage as to whether it is something I'm going to keep. Um, you know, we'll just have to see. Only time will tell, but I absolutely love this color. So I really want this bag to work out for me. I really, truly do. And they say that this fits more than the Mini Kelly. So really, if I wanted a Mini Kelly, I have to make this bag work out for me. Otherwise, it might be silly to add a Mini Kelly to my collection. The only thing I can say is that with the Mini Kelly, it looks like, even though it's smaller, like size-wise, it's a bit smaller. Um, it actually trapezes out a bit more, like it has more of a depth to it at the base. So that would probably have been better for holding my keys, like in the actual key pouch. But I don't have a mini Kelly to actually compare it to. 
All right, now that is it. I think I have rambled enough. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.